Hi guys, welcome to another Living in a CTV video, David here. Today we are going to speak about Meteor Craters and you guys ask me, David, what Meteor Craters have to do with South Africa? You guys will be surprised to find out that the 170 documented Meteor Craters in the world, we got four of them. And guess what? You guys can visit them and I want to speak about them in detail in this video. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because once again, this video will blow. Hi guys, okay, so let's go to this one. So we have four craters in South Africa. The first one is the Morokwen Crater in the Northwest. The second one is the Kalkop Crater in the Eastern Cape. Keep in mind that these two are so old and so eroded that you can't see anything. You can only see the rim of the impact because everything else is just full of limestone and completely filled with with, uh, with sand. The two other ones are the Tsuen Crater in the Gauteng province or in Pretoria, which you guys can visit. It's actually very lush with greenery and they, they even have a small lake in the middle. Don't drink water from there because it's 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 so it's it's very salty, 13 times saltier than salt water itself. And the last one is the Frieda Fort Crater in the Free State. Yes, guys, the Free State is a big meteor crater. You guys will be amazed with all the information we have to give you in this video. But to give you guys an idea, the Frieda Fort Crater is the biggest impact of an asteroid ever in this planet that was recorded two billion years ago to you guys who have an idea was even bigger than the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico this is mind-blowing for you guys who have an idea at the moment we are being bombarded by asteroids every time but what happens is when they hit our atmosphere they just vaporize with the pressure the heat and all that but uh, every 2000 years we get hit by a big asteroid do you guys have an idea the latest one that i remember was the one in tunguska in the, in russia that two impacts was in 1908 which is also very interesting for you guys to have an Okay, so now you guys ask me, uh, David, what we had in this planet 2 billion years ago? What happened exactly? To be honest, guys, I don't know. But based on scientific studies from paleontologists and geologists and people who really understand about this, they say that our planets are 4.5 billion years ago and life only started to show 3.5 billion years ago. So, 2 point billion years ago, the process is very slow. So basically what they say is, our planet was a very hostile place. How we know the continents in our day, the configuration was completely different. Earth was much closer to the moon. So the moon will, will show like a big bulky thing, not like we have in our days. Uh, the days used to have 15 hours instead of 24 hours. We didn't have an atmosphere, we didn't have oxygen, volcanoes blowing all the time. So it was a very hostile planet to live in. Okay guys, now you guys ask me, so David, what this planet had 2 billion years ago? Did, I don't know, anything died? Uh, not really guys. Uh, 2 billion years ago we had in this planet the only, let's say, uh, life we had, it was bacteria. Bacteria is very important in any ecosystem. If it's a moon, if it's a planet, if it's an asteroid, if it's uh, whatever, we need um, bacteria to start life. So this amazing bacteria 2 billion years ago was the most successful species in our planet and it was called the cyanobacteria and they are responsible to creating oxygen, breathable air and atmosphere in this planet for you and me to be alive in our day. So thank you very much cyanobacteria. They still exist by the way. That just shows they are much more successful than humans itself. Okay, the second thank you gift, let's call thank you gift uh, for the support. The second thank you gift will go to the massive, the biggest thing that we have in our, u not universe, I will say the Milky Way. It's Jupiter. Thank you Jupiter for uh, taking all the big rocks out of a collision course with our planet because let me show you guys this map of all the asteroids that are circulating as in the Milky Way and big massive planets like Jupiter are saving us for the, from bigger problems but sometimes the big magnetic fields 
and the pressure of a null from those planets can send a big rock in a collision course with our planet, we never know. Last time the dinosaurs were annihilated, so... But let's expect to, we got technology to annihilate these things in case it happens. We never know. Well, we have it already, we just need to try it. Okay, guys, after I give you all this conversation about asteroids, give you a context and all this, let's talk about the list of four meteor craters in South Africa. Moroquens Crater. Moroquens Crater is buried beneath the desert sands near the Vryberg in the northwest province. Moroquens' existence was initially hypothesized by scholars in 1995. They were doing magnetic and gravimetric studies on the Genieza Dome, a well-known underground oddity in the Kalahari Desert, on the Botswana border at the time. The circular formation, like many other impact sites, was assumed to be the consequence of volcanic activity at first. Core samples obtained from the location, however, revealed the presence of shock metamorphics and melt rock. Following further study, it was discovered that the rock also had a significant quantity of meteoric minerals. Moroquang was unmistakably a powerful impact. This was verified definitely in 2006 when a 25 cm chunk of the original meteorite was discovered at a depth of 770 meters below surface. This is just amazing. There was never been another large scale impact structure that was yielded such a massive piece of complete meteorite. The Kelkop Crater, the crater which is about 50 kilometers from Graf Reinet in the Dusty Karoo near Kendro, was formed 250,000 years ago when a meteorite with a diameter of around 20 meters hit at the site. The impact site is on a private farm in the vicinity and the access is available via gravel roads without the need for additional approval. The crater is the third to be discovered in Southern Africa, and its scientific significance is well known. The Tswain Crater, a meteorite of the size of a soccer field, traveling at 4000 km per hour, collided with what is now the Gauteng province of South Africa 220,000 years ago exploding with the force of 100 atomic bombs. The consequence was the Swank meteorite crater, a stunning natural wonder with a salt lake at the center, measuring little over one kilometer in diameter. The location, located 40 kilometers north of Pretoria, gets 14,000 people each year. The most of them are Haltengers, who come to wander at the crater which is surrounded by a 60 meter high forested ring. The crater is one of about 170 known impact craters in the world and one of four in South Africa. Tswang is unique in that it is one of the best preserved meteorite craters on the planet. And it is also highly accessible. You can stroll down into the crater and enjoy its peaceful beauty. The Vridafort crater, an asteroid with a diameter of at least 10 kilometers hurtled towards Earth around 2 billion years ago. The impact happened southwest of what is now Johannesburg, South Africa, and created a 40 kilometer deep and 100 kilometer wide crater on the surface. The crater enlarged and swelled almost immediately after impact, when the rock below began to rebound and the sides crumbled. It was formed the world's oldest and largest known impact structure. Vridafort crater was estimated 
to be between 180 and 300 kilometers wide. When the rim belt and collapse stopped, according to scientists, however, erosion over the past 2 billion years has made determining the actual size difficult. Okay guys, there you go. Now you guys know that we have four craters in uh, South Africa. I will bring many more ancient mysteries in South Africa because this is not the, the only secret or whatever. I will bring you more guys in, in a possible future list to talk about this because it's important also to look out there for these amazing... Uh, ancient mysteries let's put it this way if you guys want to go to the train crater don't forget to go with a group of people because the thing is a little bit run down uh, they have a 7.2 kilometer trail you guys can test uh go and have fun uh, awesome place to go uh if you guys want to go to the free state to see the free the fort uh, dome uh, you guys can go walk in the mountains go and see some nature so yeah but remember that two billion years ago that part of South Africa was hit by the biggest explosion that the meteor ever did in the face or on the surface of this planet. Once again, my name is David. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and share and destroy that like button. And I will see you in the next Living the CTV video.